What's up, guys? Welcome back to Sequence. I'm your host, Trevor Plouffe, and we are back for a bat number two with the man, Christian Yelich. We just talked a ton about drills, how to, how to bring drills in the cage into the game, what that means. Sometimes it translates, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, you had your drill, it translated, you became the MVP. Now we're back in the 2019 season against the Cardinals again, who clearly you just have an affinity for. And I know <laughs> sometimes you just feel that way against the team. Is that, do you feel that way against the Cardinals? Um, I don't want to blow your no, spot. Out, I, I, no, no, I, I think it's more just like when you catch teams during the season, like when you're just locked in and just on fire and just, it, it just happened to line up with them last year and yeah it just it's hard to it's like i remember before this series started i was not hitting i was not doing well and then got locked back in i think it was i think it was the day before this game actually but um yeah that's just just how it worked out but they're usually a really tough staff to face they always have yeah. really good pitching and whenever yachty's back there it's it's never an easy at bat no matter how good you're feeling because you just he just knows so much. He's such a smart catcher and player that uh, it's always challenging. It's just how it worked out. Sometimes that's – I love that kind of matchup when you have a good catcher. You know, I love it. You're a good hitter. He knows you because you guys play each other all the time. It's that perfect mm -hmm. chess match, and you guys kind of got to go back and forth. The pitcher has to execute, obviously. You have to execute. Mm -hmm. But Yachty right. knows I – mean, like you said, he's so smart. He knows your swing. He knows where he can go – to have a better chance to get you out. But mm -hmm. then if you make an adjustment to counter that, then, you know, it's not going to work in his favor and vice versa. So I wow. love all these duels. And we're going to see that on this at bat. I watched this earlier today. And this is a, this is a great at bat. This guy, uh, Ryan Helsley, you're seeing it on the screen right now. He's making his major league debut. The first batter he ever faces in the big leagues is the reigning NL MVP. So tough, tough debut for him, but it starts out pretty good. And I want to, I want to go straight into the at bat here because the first pitch is nasty. Let's click it. Right. Well, and before we go into is like, okay. but this is his debut. So like I've never faced him or seen him throw ever. You know what I mean? Maybe in a in a hitters meeting or you get the sheets of like what does this guy have? And his sheet is. It, it, it tells you, you know, his velo is 98 to a hunch. So you're like, okay, that's that catches your eye right away. You're like, great. All right, this guy, this, this guy has the potential to grab double zero. So you know that it's his debut. So he's going to be juiced. You know that. And then mm -hmm. if he's got a good off speed pitch, like it'll tell you slider or change it, but you've never seen it or what it does or what it looks like. So I always think that in this situation, you're you're at a pretty good disadvantage as a hitter until you can kind of start collecting some information as far as video or past that bats against them. Uh, you'll see here in a second, but he's about a, he's about a one to the plate. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's really tough as a hitter too. When a, when a guy can um, throw that hard and be that quick to the plate, um, especially for a guy like me. timing for you? you know, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's just like he's throwing a hundred and then it's like he can come from checking a guy at second base. And then next thing you know, we're going forward and it's coming out hot. And so I didn't know he was that quick to the play at the time. So <laughs> this pitch, I don't know. He's, I don't know he's that quick because okay. this is his first pitch in the big leagues and I've never seen him before. And so all I got in my mind is hundred slider change. Up. I love that, you brought I that up because it's so true. You, you, you have to have it bats against the guy to go up there and really have a plan. You can watch a right. lot of and video. You don't wanna, and you don't want to ever be anybody's first punch out in the big leagues, ever. <laughs> like, I don't ever want to be on any. I'm on plenty of them, but I don't ever want to be on somebody's, in somebody's trophy case. And, and, and he, yeah, uh, you'd be a great trophy for him, too. He's probably like, all right, if I punch. I mean, yeah, this is a nice. pretty good candidate to get put you in his trophy case, too, because, I mean, when you're throwing yes. 100 with a slider and a nasty changeup, that has first punchy in the show being the first batter all over it. I'm like, I know that too. I'm like, but I remember I asked, I asked Yachty before when I go up to the plate right here, I asked Yachty, is this guy, it's his debut, right? And Yachty said, yeah. And he shakes his head and I was like, all right, well, Here we go. let's, let's do this. And I love it. Yeah. He's got, he's going to be juiced. Typically when I think of a guy that's making his debut and he's a reliever, um, you're going to have it 
extra heat on your fastball. Maybe you're for sure, but, but also maybe shaky command of your off speed. Maybe shaky Potentially. command in general. I guess he, it goes it differs by guy, but that's kind of what I'm thinking with young guys. He's going to have that extra juice, may not know how to control it. So you really got to get him in the zone. Is that something that you would say too? Yeah, and I was like, all right, like this guy, this is this guy's first pitch in the big leagues. I feel like sometimes you should take it because they throw that ball out a lot of the time. <laughs> you know, like, oh, this is your first pitch in the show. And you, it, I don't know if it's – I don't know how you – how do you feel about that? But I'm always like, ah, you know, maybe I should just – You want a nice clean ball for him to put in his case? Well, clearly not because I swung at the first pitch here. But <laughs> yeah. I was like, no, nah, this guy throws – this guy's got too good of stuff to, to be spotting anybody, anything here. And I, I thought, honestly, that he was coming out of the gates trying to, like – I thought he was going to come out of the gates trying to establish, like, I throw 100 and let's get it on. And this is the big leagues right here. So I was, I was geared up for that, I guess you could say. And it, it definitely wasn't 100 out of the gate. <laughs> well, let's, yeah, let's get to it see that first pitch. Let me get back on it, and here we go. Uh-oh. Here we go. Making his debut. That one cheese. You got the scouting report. You know he throws hard. You're th you got to be thinking heater here for his pitch. At least I would be thinking heater here for his pitch. Yeah, I thought so, too. And I was like, okay, here we go. And I'm tall right now, too. Oof. A little taller. Right. Good slider. First Good pitch. Good slider. That came yeah, out so like a like, heater. Okay. Right. So I was like, okay, like that's 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 – pretty good and, and i remember thinking like damn also that was a good pitch and like holy shit am i late right now <laughs> you, you were late on <laughs> you know I, mean? I, didn't, I guess i didn't pay attention you were a little late on the 89 hour slider i love that well not in a sense if i hit it i probably would have but like as far as like decision making process of like usually mm -hmm. seeing differentiating fastball slider and i was yeah, late was i remember nice that happening no it was really good i was, I was like okay like all right, we're in this now, you know? <laughs> like, that was kind of my, my thought of, all right, this is for real. And um, I, I pointed out that I was a little taller in that first pitch there because as this goes on, um, you know, I was kind of more where I was in the walk at bat. And that's where I am the majority of the time. But like I said, he's so quick to the plate that sometimes as a hitter you have to make um, – you have to make adjustments. Yes. And for me, I was like, okay, this guy's a slide step one to the plate. So for me, I got a little bit more spread out, almost like the drill we were talking about, like a little bit more spread out on my backside more. And it was just like, I kind of, instead of doing my leg kick, it was more of a hover. Like I kind of would pick it up and like almost hover and just kind of slide it out so mm -hmm. I could put it down if I needed to, because he was throwing so hard. It's kind of like a moose thing right there. Moose is a hoverer, like keeps it really close. Right. To it, was, it was, yeah, it was almost like moose, but I, I had to do that because, you know, if it's it's a hundred, so I, you got to be able to get to that at some point. And Did you? That was on the scouting report. Like you knew going into that bat, like this guy's a one to the plate. Got to. You know, no, I didn't know he was a one. That's okay. why I was I was tall like that. And then I told you I got my. I, I was like, wow! Ah, okay. I got my. I just got my. I just got my doors blown right here. <laughs> And like I saw how much of a side step guy he was, and then it just evolved over the course of this at bat. So yeah, that was a good pitch. Gets you 0-1. Mm -hmm. And you kind of go anywhere here. Like you said, Yachty's smart. So if I'm hitting, I'm like, well, I just was I don't know what this guy's pitch does. I just swung through it. It wasn't really on time to it. It might come again. Yeah. You're really behind the eight ball here because you by swinging at that pitch, you just opened yourself up to Anything. Pretty much every yeah, anything he comes at you with right now is and you got a hundred in the tank. A pitch. You know that's you still got that. Right, haven't seen that yet. You, so right, you've got two pitches here. that you still haven't seen yet. All right, second pitch. And he comes back with the same pitch. Right, a little bit more so now, inside. Right, that was a little bit more of a. Like on my head pitch right there, and he did a really good job of of executing it. Sure. And uh, now you're in the hole. You know you're O2. You're like damn. And I'm two sliders. So you've, you've only right. seen, You haven't seen anything but a slider. You're O2. Right. And you're like damn. I'm about to be in this dude's trophy case right now because <laughs> like he's got a hunch. Those are two pretty good sliders, and I think he's got a change up too. Are you? So you're like. Are you when you get to two strikes? Are you always mm 
spreading out a little bit more, or does it depend on the pitcher, a guy that you're comfortable against, or as like a guy that yeah, you've never it, seen it, before? It depends on all those things and how I'm feeling at the plate too. Um, you know, I go through phases throughout the season, and this one was more of a, probably an exaggeration than any other time because of all the things we talked about. Like he's so quick to the plate, he's got really good shit, <laughs> and I'm just you know not wanting to be on the mantle right, right now you don't really you like really bad mantle. like that's what i'm like okay here let's we're figuring this out all right here we go oh, two pitch only seen slider so far and Another that one. is a change up that was a slider same pitch like a, a yeah just a buried slider okay. same pitch so and I'm kind like, of okay. almost leaking i'm kind of almost leaking out on this a little bit like i'm in the bucket a little bit on here and i think it's because like um I don't really know what to do because I'm trying to figure it out on the trying to figure all this out on the rungs. I've never I've never faced them. And, um, yeah, you three, know, I was like, damn, I'm in the in bucket. Mm -hmm. And you still, like I said, you still know he's got a hundred in the tank. He's got his his change up to yeah, one two pitch. Oh baby, right. I started I'll, feeling I'll more comfortable. Saying, cause... That's a good take. Right, I started feeling more comfortable because that was now that's the fourth one I've seen in a row. So you like you have an idea of what this looks like in the shape, and it's the only thing I've seen, you know. And taking that after I took that one, um, I kind of figured they probably weren't going to come back with another one because then it would be five in a row, um, and I just took a good one. But the thing is here is like it's the yachty factor. Like if anybody's gonna throw a fifth <laughs> slider in a row right here, it's him. Like for real though, he he would do something like that. Um, Even if he saw so you, you take it like that, because that was a really good take. You're balanced. You know, it was just off, and it looked like you saw it really well. And like you said, it was a fourth time. But you're saying yachty. You kind of. I said I, I don't think it. I don't think it was likely. Like I I I would, I would definitely thinking. Okay, here's now we're gonna see fastball change up but i didn't com i haven't completely eliminated the slider here because if anybody's going to do something like that it's going to be yachty and it's for sure his call because this guy is it's his debut so anything mm -hmm. that yachty puts down it's a yes yeah, yes sir. that's that that one <laughs> you know yes and so i didn't completely write it off i felt better about being able to to take it though like being able to lay off the, the one i'm supposed to take and be able to swing at the one i'm supposed to swing at now because that's the fourth one i've seen yeah this guy is nasty so yeah he's got really good stuff all right two two four sliders in a row you just laid off a good one in your head you're saying heater it's likely yeah something other than slider let's see You're right. Heater. And that's a and pitch. I, I was, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, it was a good swing, too. Like, I, I fouled it straight back. It probably got on me a little bit because it was the first time I saw him. But, uh, you know, if he executes that one away right there, I'm probably punching because I'm kind of flying out on this a little bit. Like, see, everything's gone. I'm in the – it's not really – I see that. I see your you hit know, go. It's, it's, it's going really quick here, and it's something that I probably wouldn't like. Like, I don't really like that. See, if he executes this pitch away, like Yachty knows right here, because mm -hmm. he's pounded me in with almost cutters. They're 92, 91 mile hour sliders, so it's almost a cutter. But I think I just subconsciously did that because I'm trying to go fast, right? Yeah. And if he executes this, if, yeah, if he gets this ball away, then either I'm going to roll it over most likely – or miss it. Yeah, and but when you do probably, that, it ball looks like it's a million miles away. If your if your hip is open, like right? That, yeah, I the, probably uh, take it and it's a punch, or I swing and miss. But uh, he good yanked swing. it. And, yeah, yeah I found it straight punch. back. It's a good swing, but uh, yeah, kind of smoked the umpire a little bit right there. Mm -hmm. Yachty's giving him some time. Yachty's gear is just so show too. So sick. He's the he's the best man. Oh, that got Yachty. Yeah. Mm. Got two, both of them. 
Okay, so what are you thinking here? Two, two, four sliders, one fastball. Like, a, do you have a, a lean in one on one pitch, or are you saying I just kind of got a battle now? And I was going pretty good at this time. Um, you know, I think. I didn't think I was going to see another heater because I fouled that one straight back and felt like I was right on it. Um, even though, like, I probably, this probably isn't my best mechanical at bat or, you know, to Yachty, I was, I'd fouled a 99 mile hour fastball straight back the first time I saw it. It's like, mm. you know, maybe they, maybe you come back with it, but I was like, ah. I was kind of thinking potential for the third pitch here or, um, sure going back to the slider. Okay. Let's run it. Yachty's like, all right, what do I got now? What do I got? Mm-hmm. Two, two. And a oh. drive to right field. Yep. Oh. Yeah. He, yeah, he went back to it, but that one. Yeah. That one wasn't a slider. It kind of backed up on him. It was one of those. Um, mm. Spinner, like that, that didn't that ball didn't move mm -mm. at all. You know, kind of just spun up there, and God, I watch that again. I, that, that, that's really, it's, it's honestly not even really. I didn't really think I did anything on this. I, I think the the pitch kind of dictated it. You know, you know, sometimes when you like catch a slider out front, or you, you kind of just they hit a homer for you in a sense. Mm -hmm. Like that's what happened here because. Um, he sped me up with that fastball and then 91 mile hour slider, like basically throws it into your barrel in a sense for a homer. Um, just cause it didn't, it didn't move. It didn't have the same bite as those, those other four did. It, it backed up on them. Um, I remember just like the feeling of just catching it like out front on the barrel and just being, I was out front of it for sure. Like mm -hmm. I, I, I swung at it kind of like it was a heater, but, uh, just the, the the bat path was good enough to where I, I caught it in the in the sweet spot zone. 427. Homer. Yeah, when you hit those balls, you don't even really feel them. Yeah, you know it's a homer right away. Yeah. And then Bronny gets his ticket punch for the trophy case. This at bat. Oh, so. good for you, Bronny. Yeah. I want, I'm, we we don't want Bronny right now. We want to see some highlights. Let's see if I can get it. I might not have it. We'll have to have the uh, the editors do it in post here. Oh, here we go. And that one's a better swing. I'm not. I'm not really bailing out as much there. And you can kind of see the slide from that back view. It's different than my little leg kick. Um, Let's see that. Oh yeah, yeah, big time. You know, and it just allows you to get your foot down when you got to. Um, see, that's that is the stuff right there that I love that that we've kind of been showcasing on this show. Is that those little adjustments that you made in the at bat? You didn't know he was a one. He comes. He's quick to the plate. You have to make an adjustment. So you do. You make an adjustment, and it pays off for you later in the at bat. You're on time. You catch it. You barrel it, and it's gone. And this is coming from a guy who, you know, won the MVP. Doesn't. A lot of people would say he doesn't have to change anything. Just continue to do what you're doing. But in the game of baseball, as a hitter, you got to make those adjustments. And we saw it. Yeah, you're changing all the time, and I think there's that there's some sort of saying in, in baseball, right? Where like the higher you go, the adjustments become quicker. Or it, it starts from game to game, then it goes at bat to at bat, and then it becomes eventually pitch to pitch. And that's kind of when you get to the higher levels, or you want to perform at a high level in the big leagues, then you have to be able to do that stuff. And it doesn't always work out like this. It doesn't work out in your favor, but you, you're finding ways to give yourself a chance. I guess you could say to be successful more times than not. A lot of the times, I guess statistically, uh, most of the time it doesn't work out in your favor, but uh, we don't need it to. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> well, I appreciate you coming on. You're one of the best hitters in the world. You're a guy that can do it pitch by pitch. You can make those adjustments pitch by pitch. And I appreciate you just letting us get into your head a little bit because that was awesome. And I hope anybody out there that's watching can take something from this and, and get a little bit better because that's kind of what we're trying to do here. Of course, man. Thanks for having me. I really enjoyed it. All right, Yelly. Thank you so much, bro.